So, Pablo Escobar, he's the guy that all of us have heard about from Netflix. Yeah, Narcos. And call it due to the coronavirus, but I've just recently started watching Narcos. And while it's a really good show, um, we all can agree that Pablo is probably not the best role model for any of us. He blows up airplanes and kills 107 people just because he wanted to kill one guy. And I believe I searched on Google and he's responsible for around 4,000 to 5,000 deaths in, um, in Colombia. But with all of that being said, as I was watching uh, the first and second seasons of Narcos, something about his mannerism really struck me. There were a lot of situations wherein I would have probably expected Pablo to react very differently than he actually did, right? And that's what really took me by surprise was his non-reactiveness. Take for instance when his cousin Gustavo has been murdered by um, by the cops, right? By the uh, the search block. So his associate Quicha comes to his house while he's having lunch with his mom and his wife Tata, and he comes to tell Pablo that they've just discovered Gustavo's body. Now this is a perfect example of what I've been talking about, right? Just look at Pablo's face and then look at what his mother does. Dígame como un nombre, pues. Gustavo está muerto. ¿Qué? Encontraron su cuerpo en las afueras de Sabaneta, muy golpeado. ¿Cómo así? También le dieron de tiros, patrón. No, no. ¿Cómo se te ocurre venir a mi casa así? ¿Cómo se te ocurre? No. ¡Sali! ¡Sali, andate! ¡Vos! ¡Vos, Sali! ¡Te vas! ¡Te vas de mi casa! ¡Andate! ¡No! Gustavo, no. So right there, you can actually see that Pablo's face is non-reactive. Right? And I wouldn't even go so far as to say that he's not registering that his cousin died or was murdered. Brutally murdered that too. He does take it all in, but it's just that his face doesn't flinch, it doesn't twitch, he doesn't narrow his eyes, he doesn't get angry, his nostrils don't flare up. Right? And you contrast that with his mother. His mother is very, very reactive. Right? She, she actually slaps her quicher. She tells him that you cannot bring such news to our house when we're eating food. Right? She tells him to get out. Right? You can see her hands. They are, they are gesti gesticulating quite a lot. Right? But Pablo, he is different. He is unnerved. He is what we call non-reactive yeah and this non-reactiveness is something that i've noticed in a lot of others as well think about this particular clip right when the vice president of colombia comes up to him and says that he's a liar look at pablo says like he, he doesn't care. I mean, is that the reaction you'd take from a guy who like goes around carrying a gun, who's so free with his money and like killing people? No, it doesn't matter whether he's the uh, the vice president. I mean, anybody who's seen the show saw that Pablo executed the, uh, the minister of justice. Right? So killing a vice president for calling him a liar would have been right up Pablo's alley, but he didn't. Right? He's just non-reactive. Now, of course, this is not to say that Pablo does not react at all. Yeah, um, I mean, the time when his wife and kids were stuck in Germany, you can easily make out from his uh, voice, from his tone, from his uh, seating anger, you can make out that he's really, really upset and he's probably going to take some rash decision, right? But I've noticed that only if his family is concerned, does he have this reactiveness, you know? It's, which is kind of like a, a dead giveaway that something is wrong. It shows that Pablo is not really um, in control or even the time. Uh, this is like a perfect example, right? This clip 
it's when pablo goes and he murders his two um associates who have he's kind of like given his business uh off to while he's in prison right look at him look at the way his his fingers clench you can see that he's twitching right and even though he doesn't have like too many facial expressions you can sort of see how his lips curl up a little bit right you can see the anger is building inside him right he's reactive over here he's not being his usual non reactive self he just processes everything calmly and we all know how this one plays out now in all of these videos did you notice his face Did you see how non-reactive his facial expressions are? And this is something that's really important uh, when it comes to being a quote-unquote masculine guy. And if you think about it, a lot of the other heroes that we've probably seen on TV demonstrate this very same trait, right? Think of um, think of James Bond. I right? think of a James Bond and his facial expressions. Does he react a lot? Does he smile a lot? When he smiles, does he show his um, his teeth? You know, do, do his uh, does he flinch? Does it does his uh, face get all squinchled up? Right. Compare him versus say like a Joey from Friends. Now, obviously, Joey is the uh, the funny guy, but notice how much of facial expression Joey actually carries out versus a James Bond. Yeah. Now, James Bond is supposed to be the you know he's supposed to have those masculine traits that a lot of guys have and that's what communicates his powerful attitude um and uh another good example would be um, yeah iron man okay now all of us have watched avengers we think of iron man yeah compare tony stark versus spider man now if you had to choose between the two of them whom would you say is the more powerful just by their body language or right? just from their face Iron Man, or Tony Stark, he doesn't have that many facial expressions throughout the movie. He's more stone faced, but his brain processes everything, right? He's got more wit. He's got more uh, quick replies. Yeah, he's got uh, a very sharp tongue. Yeah, but his facial expressions don't often communicate so much, and that's what Pablo really does over here. And he's got this sort of a cool demeanor, and you know that he's processing stuff. He is non-reactive. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he's slow. It doesn't mean that he's stupid or he's foolish. He's still able to process everything, but the the um, the more calmer his face is, the more calmer the audience perceives him as well. They perceive him to be a lot more in control of an entire situation, and that's the biggest takeaway which I've taken away from Pablo. Now, obviously, um, he's done a lot of. reactive stuff as well which is extremely bad extremely uh, devastating and not um, in the best interest of himself or the government or people in general because he just goes around killing everyone but his powerfulness comes across through his face so the next time you're faced with some sort of um, a difficult situation think of that episode where he goes around and kills those two guys yeah you think of the way his face starts uh, reacting the way his uh, fist starts clenching right he does these small uh, gestures that communicate nervousness that communicate you know he's about to do something that communicate that he's not in control of the situation that situation is in control of him right so just think of the non reactiveness of someone like a pablo the next time um, you know that you have uh some sort of a situation that demands a lot more of you and just remember that this uh powerfulness can actually actually be learned right so it's a skill it's a skill that James Bond carries off that Iron Man carries off that even um in this case Pablo carries off and he carry off really well uh, so that's something that I've started to incorporate a lot more I used to be the guy who would always you know use my eyebrows a lot or uh, widen my eyes at joy or excitement at uh, telling a jokes but that's something that a comedian has to do but somebody who is wants to communicate more power right use a lot less facial expressions